Welcome to CAS 200 Web Trends, Columbia Gorge Community College, the Dallas, Oregon, Mrs. Hewitt Instructor. In this video, we're going to be discussing your final project. You've known since the beginning of the term, if you read through the final project information, what you're going to be doing. So now it's time for it to be done. Some of you may have entered this class already with a career track in mind. Some of you may have discovered a new career job idea as you work through this. Some of you could be taking it just because it's a one credit and you needed a one credit and you have no intention of going in the IT field. So, either way, you have to come up with a career in the IT web design type of area, um, internet technology, internet security, any of those web types of things, and do some research about it. It can either be a career that you really would like to do. It could be a career you thought you'd like to do until you did the research. It could be a career that you just simply saw and thought, hmm, that's interesting. Or it could just be a career because you've got to get your final project done. Your choice. So, you'll notice it says 100 megabytes. I think earlier I mentioned in a video 64 megabytes. Well, good news. Moodle on the last update went back to a 100 megabyte limit. Used to be that, and then an update a couple of years ago messed that up for us, and apparently enough people complained it's back to the 100. So you should be able to upload most things. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to go do some research. You need to be citing your sources. If you take a direct quote, you need to use quotation marks, an inline citation. If you're paraphrasing, you need to use an inline citation. How do you need to turn it into me? Well, that's where you get to be creative. You can do a research paper, which is not really creative. But you could also do a PowerPoint. You could do a photo story. If you took 133, you know how to do photo stories. You could do an iMovie. You could make another type of media presentation. Maybe you want to make a, a publisher type flyer or, or something like that. That's fine. If in the process of creating your project creatively, you find that you have to do a second document for your sources. You may have to put a little more information, like this picture is from, or I took this quote from, rather than just a straight work cited, and that's fine. And you can submit that second document. It does have a link set, so you can submit two documents. Another requirement is you have to turn it in in a format that I can open. I can open anything that's a Word product, Word, PowerPoint, Publisher, no problem. I can open Photo Story because when you finish it and you make it into a movie, it's a WAV file. I can open an iMovie because when you finish it, it makes it into a MOV file. Um, if you use something like I'm using, which is a screen capture software, you can make it into an MP4 file. All of those work without a problem. If you want to use Google Docs and Slides, when you export it, you need to export it as a PDF. PDF is pretty universal. If you've got some other software you want to use, that's fine. Just make sure it's basically a universal type of file that any computer can open. We should be good to go. I do have Adobe products on this, but again, a finished product should be able to be opened by any computer, at least if it has Office. That would be kind of the basic requirement as far as being able to open it. Just a heads up for you Mac users. If you use Pages, and you turn it into me, I cannot open it. You have to make sure you save it in a word-friendly format as a DOC, a DOCX, or a RTF or a TXT type of file type. 
So just keep that in mind. Are there specific questions I want answered? <laughs> Not really. I want to get a good view of that job. What's the training you need? What's the pay you might get? How easy is it to find? Is there a huge demand in the field? Or is it one of those jobs that like a company of 5,000 might need one person doing and so therefore it's really hard to get the job? And really anything else you might want to include about the job? Are, what type of job is it? Do you just sit for hours a day in front of a screen? Are you doing trainings and presentations? I mean, what are you doing with the job? Because sometimes some things appeal to people more than other things. For example, I would not have made a good accountant. I am not a number cruncher. So given that type of thing, kind of think that through and then get creative and get it ready to go. So let's go back into our week, see what else is there. If you're not used to citing sources, here's some information. I am not going to be the English teacher looking for every period, every comma, ever hanging indent. That's not my focus. My focus is if I wanted to go to your so source and see where you got that information, either because it doesn't quite make sense or I was just curious and want to know more, I should be able to go to your sources and find basically what you're working with. So that's what I'm going to be looking for with your sources. Try to get them as close to officially accurate as you can. But um, I recognize that if you're doing some creative projects, you may not be able to do inline sourcing in a video, obviously. So at the end, you're going to have to give your sources. So that's there. Final presentation upload, most of you probably have taken an online class before and know how to upload, but not everybody does. So I am going to go ahead and do an upload. I will also show you how to replace a file and do a second upload in case you run into a situation where you upload it and, you know, a little bit later you go, oh, I forgot, I should have. I wanted to, and you want to correct that and get it uploaded before I grade. They will be due Saturday night, Sunday morning, like at 8 o'clock, they will lock. And during Sunday while I'm grading, please be watching your email and Moodle messages. Because if for some reason you've turned something in that's in a format I cannot access for whatever reason, or there's some other major problem with it, and I need to have you do something with it, I will get a message to you as quickly as I can on Sunday, and you need to get it fixed and back to me, again, as quickly as you can, because grades are due Monday at noon, and I have no leeway on that time. So, please be watching your mail Moodle messages on Sunday, the last Sunday of the term. So now I'm going to add my submission. I've got it done. I'm ready to go. And my little box comes up. I drag it over. I drop it on. This just happens to be a Word document I use for exactly this purpose. And I do save changes. And as soon as it's uploaded, I can see a couple of things. I can see it's been submitted for grading. And I can see the document here. Now, let's say you accidentally uploaded the wrong document or you want to make a change. You can still make changes to it up to the point I grade it. Once I grade it, you're done. And yes, I might start grading early because it takes a while to get everything graded for every class. But I want to make a change. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just simply going to delete it. And once it's finished deleting... I can then upload the corrected document um, that I would really like to have there instead and do save changes and life is good. We've got it done. There we go. You have one last thing to do and that last thing will be to complete the forum. that sits down here. It'll be your final forum. 
And right down here, you do not need to reply to another student for that. So hopefully this will get you going. If you do have any questions or you get stuck on anything, please let me know.